Melanie McQuaid and you're watching Racer Girl Television. Uh, today I'm going to talk about goal setting. Uh, I think all of us are heading into a new season and uh, we need to help ourselves get focused on the task at hand. So it's really important to set your goals for the season early and hopefully reevaluate them during the season. So maybe I'll start by considering some wine. those goals are either somewhat unattainable or uh, perhaps I need to have a road map on how to get there. So the way I would recommend you set your goals is to first think about what your outcome goals are. So that's like what is the finish line where you feel like you've attained a goal. And then think about some process goals, which are breaking down that, that major goal into smaller steps that you can then attain during the season. And then hopefully by the end of the season, you'll, you will have gotten to the point where you've achieved some of your major goals. For example, uh, I think some honest goals of mine for this year might be to win 70.3 um, and maybe in order to be able to do that I need to focus on some more strength in my running so I might have interim goals uh, for run pace or time trials or just actual workouts that I'd like to complete to feel strong enough that I could finish off a 70.3 strongly. A second goal of mine is probably to win a 70.3 with the fastest bike split. So uh, in order to do that, I have some interim goals in terms of where I want my bike fitness this year that I would set down, like um, a certain workout that I've done at a certain wattage. And uh, it might take a while to build up to that, but if I get there, then I know I'm on track for, for riding well this season. And then a third goal of mine might be to actually win a, an Xterra, um, preferably one that happens near the end of the season, um, maybe one that happens in a hot place. That would mean that during the season I'd actually ha have um, some process goals that include um, building up some mountain bike fitness near the end of the year. Um, a process goal, which could be an outcome goal, this year would be to actually win one of the Furious 3 um, race series. I definitely have uh, some goals in uh, the mountain bike realm that I think are going to help me to uh, get the kind of Xterra results that I'm hoping to get this year. So, there you go. Create some goals for yourself. Uh, break it down into some process goals that help you to get there. And then reevaluate during the season. Um, you want your goals to be attainable, but difficult and realistic. So for all of you out there who also want to ride a unicorn, you might want to reconsider. Thanks for watching Racer Girl Television. Subscribe to my channel. See you next time.